Apesuna Fulani, Apesuna Gurushi, Apesuna Yewa, and that that's not Ghana, to connect Ghana as you as a Magana. Well, President Mohammed, who my local in the yard, ya sa tuta mu bisa kama mu juye gana ya ce wanda ke cikin gana da duka ke fulani ne o ke zabramani do ke gonja ne o ke ashanti ne o ke fantini we ka sama cikin gana what i said simply is that if you go to the world of Morgan, if you go to the war memorial in Kumasi, you see the names of fallen soldiers from the World War. That is when Ghana was Gold Coast and Britain was our colonial master. And if you read it, you will see Sergeant something Ajimai. You see uh, uh, Alassan Kulani, you see Salifu Dagati, you see Seidu Zambarama, you see uh, 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 Yakubu Kurushi. All those people were here in Goku. <laughs>
because you have high speed internet. It's a yes, five G superbar because five G is very high speed. I just say it's be used AI in your man, your man, our five G, and so we'll, we'll uh, speed that up. Senebaya, we can get relief for our people in the internet space. Now, who my wood? As they are the pede, and then the creative arts fund, Baba. Now, I buy the seed money at home. It is a better movie. You can apply to the Creative Arts Fund. In the Obama, now, only if you are moving on, only if you are actors and actresses, or there would be almost something reasonable. Because I feel, Obi Tibi Kotna shooting, maybe two weeks, now, Yaman, thousand Ghana cities. But then, there is no chance for support, they buy, and no chance for the best car, they are going to be, and just on, on, so, in the, how much you give to the artist and they give you enough money to shoot the movie. Apart from that, they have a digital studio so that you can produce of the art quality movies. In the Echo Studio now, you pay far less than you do if you go to a private studio. After each hour from here, exhibition halls, you may see exhibition halls in different places. In the Opa, as they say, which are moving now, all for exhibition here. Watch you. 50%. Also, uh, in the exhibition hall in the end of the year, over 50% of the proteins now swap for 50%. Most of the times, it doesn't cover your cost of production. And the in your exhibition halls now, who you move now? APR, you did 20% just for maintenance and other things. Now, 80% is your film producer. What far? Now, what they are sure or how far? And see, there were a lot of uh, uh, good things for the creative industry. You know, more ex Nazi, and they've told us what they want. And see, you have a good manifesto. And see, later this month, you uh, have the manifesto to do that. You will uh, see. Our initiatives for the creative industry. Then. Last, Okada, Okada, last. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, how do you put it? The starting of this 2008, we've been waiting for so many years. In 2029, when we heard, in 2019, when we heard that we wanted to legalize it, we said, okay, hey, then we have to support. But here lies the case. We want to support for you to come to the office. But our problem is, when you come to the office and you legalize it, how are we sure that we, the organics, will get to office and transport, transport for these ministries? And also, are we going to implore a city sector people to come and endorse on us, or we are we going to uh, be the same people to engage with the part that we are doing as a That's my question. Okay. Um, you already have seen these other regions. We went to the Olympic Games and there is no representative of God. And I'm sad as a young man who has an interest in sports in this country. What are we doing to revive sports? More especially the low force and even the less low force that we we back on in this time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me answer it fast so that more people will get the opportunity. And um, I met the fishing groups um, about a month and a half or two months ago. I went to the Tema Fishing Hub and met them. And um, I announced there that when we come, there will be no close season for artisanal fishermen. <laughs> Listen to my next statement for artisanal fishermen. You know, those who put more pressure on, those who put more pressure on the sea are the trawlers and the big fishing vessels. One measure that is even more important is that they are not supposed to fish within a certain nautical miles of the coast. And that is because that is where a lot of the fish come to breed in the shallower waters. 
Because when they are breathing, their eggs need a bit of sunlight and all that to be able to incubate. And so, rather than punish artisanal fishermen and say you are doing a close season, make sure you monitor the number of nautical miles so that the trawlers don't come there. If they don't come there, the fish stocks will recover. And what we say is, how much fish do the artisanal fishermen catch? The majority of the fish is caught by big trawlers. Many of them who even catch that fish and go and land the fish in other ports instead of bringing it for Ghanaians to be able to eat. So the close season will be there for the big trawlers and the big fishes. But the artisanal fishers who go with their small canoe and their outboard moto and their nets to go and catch no fuel, me at the Baba, me at the Hafa, you go and open and show the Baba. The small fishes, artisanal fishes, no close season, will stop the trawlers from fishing with thousands of our young people. And so, like in country, like countries like Uganda and other places, they have legalized and regulated Okada, and it is working. You go there, they call it something boda boda or something boda boda. They've legalized it, and it's working. They regulate it. They've given them uniforms. They have this uh, polo shirt that they wear. So when you see the polo shirt and you see him on his bike, you know this is an Okada rider. They've given them training. They make sure they have their helmets. And even now, they are introducing electric motorcycles and giving it to the Okada riders. And so you ride, you don't buy fuel. When your battery is weak, you go to a station, you take the old battery, put a new battery, you pay 10 CDs or 5 CDs, and then you continue. So there is a lot that we can do. And we must pass legislation to uh, protect the riders. But the riders too must obey the traffic regulations. You don't stop at traffic lights. When you reach traffic light, it's red, you look left, left, look right, nobody came, then you go. We'll give you special license plates and special numbers. So when you cross the light like that, we'll take your number down. Wherever they find you, they'll catch you. So you must obey the traffic regulations and we will license you, regulate you. We'll get people to train you on safe riding. Those who don't have licenses will help you to get licenses and we'll let you be able to buy insurance so that if there's an accident, your passenger is protected. And so we'll allow you to get insurance to protect yourself and your passenger. And so we will regulate it and we'll make sure that it is safe for everybody to be able to ride. But I also caution drivers. Drivers hate to see a motorcycle in front of them. A motorcycle is also a, a, a road user. If he's, you just consider that it's a car in front of you. But when it's a motorcycle, and then before you see, you knock him down. We'll also make it punitive for drivers who knock down motorcycles. In many places, if you knock a pedestrian or a cyclist, the sanction is very terrible. Today, you know how many school children are knocked down every day, killed on our streets? And people get away with it. We must increase the sanctions for knocking down pedestrians. You see a zebra crossing. Somebody is crossing, a car is coming. Hey, who is that car about? But the road traffic regulation says, if somebody is on the zebra crossing, if even you go to any of the other countries, he just puts his foot on the white line. If you are coming and you don't stop, the camera will take your uh, car number. Before you see, 80 pounds fine, 100 pounds fine. You know, so we must respect the road traffic regulations and we must protect cyclists, we must protect motorcyclists, we must protect pedestrians because the pedestrian knockdowns, I mean a few months ago a student from UPSA or Legon, he was going home, a car knocked him down and killed him. Somebody had just finished his uh, postgraduate, uh, he had presented his uh, thesis successfully that day, he was going to celebrate, a car knocked him down and killed him. 
And so we must see how we can enforce the laws so that people are more careful on our roads. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, fellow millennials, Gen Z's, Gen Y's, please, your president, John Dramani Mahama.